Hey guys, we're rocking on right back with some more of the Dragon Ball Zenovers to Hero Coliseum, this time doing my uh, MP 50% team, which uh, it proved surprisingly effective in the games I've used it in, so uh, let's have a look at it. So we've got um, the Intimidation Goku, which is what brought about the idea for this deck. So basically, it was a case of getting my Master Stand 50% and then Goku would sort of so today I start off by using the um, original Blue Vegeta with 0 01 01 skills with attack and defense and the um, plus 700 to each of his stats. Basically the first turn my, the idea is to get damage down on his master and get mine below 50% to then proc all of those abilities. Then Goku and the others come in with their abilities. That's in theory how it should work. In practice it sometimes didn't but uh, here it does because it was the speed version of Gogeta so Vegeta easily uh, lives that. Now between Gogeta and Gogeta <laughs> the two of them will easily do enough to uh, half health me which is a little worrying because uh, that Gogeta did a lot of damage there. What's funny is that I was two counter-attacks here from losing, basically, because if the other one had gotten a counter-attack, I'd have lost. With all the high-powered figures nowadays, it is very risky running a deck like this, so... But Vegeta will hit for about 12k on his own, and I luckily get the counter-attack, which will add another 6 on top of that, so... We go into this pretty even, really, but... Uh, in the way that we're both sort of one direct attack away from being finished, so. But this is Son Santana, I didn't mention that before. This was the first time I used this deck. I just came up with the idea for this from like three figures that I hadn't used like hardly ever for ages. So that Goku and the two Vegetas. And it just seemed like an interesting idea on paper, so I went with it. I wasn't honestly sure <coughs> where to put these things. Also, fun fact, before this match I forgot to level Intimidation Goku up to level 99, so... That was my bad. Which could have very nearly cost me uh, very dearly. Because uh, I thought I had all my stuff leveled, but obviously I limit broke it and I forgot to level it the rest of the way. Unfortunately, I'm slower. Which means Broly's dead, Gogeta may well be dead, but my Intimidation Goku has a good chance of living because he has good health and decent defense. Yep, I just uh, I just live in with the counter attack, so the um, being level ninety nine wouldn't have made any difference. God damn that that Gogeta just hit so hard, so. I was a bit worried at this point because that Goku's got no health left, Broly's dead, and Gogeta was probably going to be dead as well. Which um, meant my fastest figure, and essentially what would be my second fastest in Gogeta. Yeah, there's the counter attack that kills it. <laughs> oh dear, counter attacks are swings and roundabouts because I'll get one back in a later game, and it's just how it goes. It's always fun playing against uh, Santana. You always learn something new. But uh, Goku there nearly, nearly knocks him out, and with the counter attack, he does. So that's a problem out of the way, but not a big one, really, because I think that was the speedy of Vegeta. Uh, Gogeta. I did have my ultimate gauge here now, and I do have the perfect figure to ultimate with in the um, Vegeta over there, who is sitting at a very dangerous 7,400, which will get boosted to 8,400 because he's on a trigger square. So that is going to be pretty darn nasty. I should outspeed this turn because Goku will have reduced all of their speed again. Plus, they're all reasonably sort of speedy in that sense, thanks to the um, sort of up speeds at 
So I outspeed. I wasn't actually too confident because he put Ultra Instinct Goku down. And as you know, he reduces the ultimate damage you do significantly. So this was... I wasn't sure how well Vegeta was going to honestly do here. But luckily, he actually put on enough damage to kill off Ultra Instinct Goku. Which allowed that Goku to go and finish it. Now, if he hadn't, I think uh, Blue Vegeta would have done it. But I'm not sure yet. I would have to damage check that. I don't know. But Sansa Tana, another great game. He'll go and kick my ass the next time I play him. But I'll take that victory because that was a great game. And it's a fun deck to use. So... Uh, i definitely give it a try if you can, because uh, using those old figures is fun, especially that Vegeta, so... Anyway, that was the first battle, we've got plenty of time left, so let's go on to match number two. Right, this time we are against Tor, Tor Award 1976, master level 54, so solid sort of player, decent level, should have some good figures. Once again, going in with the same deck, sort of everything running the... Uh, Masters HP 50% things. So, uh, yeah. It was an interesting deck. You got the Gogeta, the Blue Goku, the Damage Duran, the Whis, and uh, that Freezer. So, he had some decent uh, some decent figures there. Obviously, the Freezer being an, an exception. But, uh, I wasn't too worried about the team comp. I wasn't surprised by this opening. I did expect Gogeta to go behind um, Whis. It's a solid strategy because you stick Gogeta there and you just try and build him up and build him up. It would be a good way to use him as an 01 skiller, really. Just because you put 01 skills on doesn't mean you have to use them solely as 01 skills. Right, if you run, let's say you ran Whis and like three speedy figures, or maybe two speedy figures and like a second Whis or something. You could really buff up your Gogeta, and then by the time your ultimate's ready, he would have insane stats. Obviously, the guys... I don't think his figures are particularly highly leveled because of uh, some of the stats of them. So, I had quite an advantage in this game, but still, I was... <laughs> I was using figures that nobody uses anymore, let's be honest. I mean, who uses Intimidation Goku? Has anyone ever used Intimidation Goku? I honestly don't know. Tell me if they have. It seems like he was released for this kind of deck to be made. But I've never seen anybody run him. It's weird. And as for Blue Vegeta, I mean, he he was originally top tier. Like, he was one of the top five figures in the game. And now no one uses him, which is sad, really, because he is a very good figure. I mean, if I got a counter-attack here, I'd actually one-shot my opponent. Unfortunately, I didn't. So we we have a second turn. So I'm not sure what I did. Did I keep? Yeah, I must have kept Blue Jeter in to uh, make it an easy win. I went one across the board. Blue Vegeta has enough attack to finish this off, so he can uh, blow the master away, and uh, it'll be another good GG. But this deck is fun. I've used it a few times now. I have lost once. Was through insanely BS RNG. I lost because of speed multipliers. In the very last turn, if I'd have got a decent number, I didn't even need a 300. I needed about a 230 or 240. But all I got was 180, or 190 I think was the top. And because of that, he outsped and he killed all three of my figures. Whereas if I'd have had a solid number, I'd have outsped, I'd have killed at least two of his, and mine wouldn't have died. But swings and roundabouts. That's all it is at the end of the day. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't. That's a big problem with this game, the RNG. Really, uh, really needs tweaking a bit. I, I do want to do a video on RNG. Sort of my problems with various parts of it and what I do to change it. So maybe that's something in the future. But there we go. We blow away the master. GG, Vegeta, you have been a star. Um, this deck is fun. This. These figures are fun to use. It's nice to see Intimidation Goku actually be useful, useful for once. Like I don't think I've ever seen that before. Also, I don't think this guy got DC, did he? A lot of people have been. Oh no, he did. Okay. 
Well, with that, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe for more of my Hero Coliseum videos. And I'll see you all next time.